Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy on the PC and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom new player spawn file, um, an init.c file for your Nitrado private server that will allow you to spawn in with one of four random military um, loadouts. So to kind of show you how it works, um, I'm just going to hit the uh, respawn and you're going to see see how this happens now. The, oh, sorry about the video quality because I'm just recording this on OBS. But if we look at so I'm a fresh spawn, literally just just spawned in, um, and we spawn in. Our, all right, this is the medic. So as you can see, the medic has got the uh, the La assault rifle, four spare magazines, um, a silence uh, pistol, four magazines for the pistol. All the magazines are full of bullets. Med pack. Um, a melee weapon, the uh, the machete, and then if we scroll down, we've got some tactical bacon, a canteen, can of Pepsi, uh, an apple, <laughs> some bandages, and tin opener, and a smoke grenade. Um, and so you're ready to fight straight away. Um, really cool. Uh, there's a scope on the LAR as well. Um, and the idea is you could then you could just have this as your normal loadout. So when people um, uh, spawn in on Chernerus or Livonia, they spawn in like this, or you may want to use these as part of a custom event for a weekend. And the beauty with uh, this on, on PC uh, is it's, it's very simple to do and it's easy to put on and easy to take away. Now, when the init.c file becomes available to mod on consoles, this is how we'll do this as well. So, literally, what you could do is you could have your Daisy private server running nicely, um, everybody just, just playing Daisy like they, 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 they want to, doing PVE perhaps. And then you say, right, okay, we're going to have a PV, uh, PvP weekend, um, we're going to have it on the um, around the Northwest Airbase, and I'll do videos on how to do this as well. And then all you need to do is you just need to upload this init.c file, upload a custom spawn player spawn file which just has spawns around the Northwest Airbase. And for that weekend, anybody who dies will spawn in as a military character near the Northwest Airfield and they can have fun uh, shooting each other. Everybody else who doesn't want to get involved in that event can carry on doing whatever they want to do around the rest of the map, you know, surviving. As long as they don't die, they're going to be fine. And then when, when it's over, you don't need to roll back the server, you just change the init.c file back to the normal one, change the spawnable types back to the normal one, sorry, change the spawn points back to the normal one and everything's back to normal. It's very easy, no reinstalling, no nothing like that. But first off, um, I just need to thank uh, this guy, Gravity Wolf Not Amused on GitHub, and I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description down below, because this is the guy who's done the file, the, 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 the legwork, the coding on this init.c file that enables you to have these um, these custom loadouts and trying to show you what the other loadouts are so the first loadout as I say is the medic loadout then you've got the assault loadout where you spawn in with an M4 suppressed pistol you know and, and that food stuff and then you've got your um, submachine gun loadout where you spawn in with an SG5K um, spare magazines all that sort of stuff and then the final one is the sniper with the VSD and uh, the silenced pistol magazines you know all that all that sort of good stuff uh, great, great fun. Really, really, really good fun. Um, as I say, Gravity Wolf not amused. Um, did the work, did the coding. Now, what I did was I've slightly changed um, the init.c file to bring it up to date with the latest DayZ build as of May 2020. And also, I changed it so that the medic didn't just spawn in with a pistol. So, in the in his init.c file, the medic just spawns in with a pistol. I gave the gave the um, medic the la as well, just so that they've got a little bit more firepower. And also, I gave all of the characters a smoke grenade and some bandages, a, another and another piece of food. That was it. So, but he this is the guy who's done done the heavy lifting. You know, I haven't done the coding for this, and it's really cool because it means you spawn in, you know, ready to go. All you need to do is reload your weapon. You know, press and hold R, R and that's it, and and you're good to go. So as I say, to get this working, all it needs is one file. So if you go to your Nitrado um, products page where you've got all your servers, find this, your, your, the server you want to want to alter, click on the little web interface icon, log in here, like so. That will take you in. Now, whenever you do these alterations, it's always a good idea to stop the server. Check to see if you've got anybody on the servers first. Maybe you, in your Discord, just tell them, you know, I'm going to be stopping the server. So let's just stop this. 
take up a couple of seconds and then you want to go into your file browser okay and the file we want to search for is init.c so just search for init.c and you'll find two because on your Nitrado private PC servers there's an installation for Chenerus and there's an installation for Livonia and they're kept separately the idea is you can swap between the two on the server and still uh, save the settings for one or the other now I haven't tried doing that so I don't know how well it works but that's the idea now on my particular server I want to, I'm running Chernerus so I want to alter the init.c file for Chernerus so it happens to be the second one so all you do just just click on the init.c file and just make sure here it says something to do with Chernerus plus so it says daisy offline dot Chernerus plus so this is Chernerus now if it says Enoch in it that's Livonia now if you want to change your Livonia file you know that see you're in the right place if you're not um, go go back and go to the other in it.c file now we're not going to change anything here what I want you to do is click on on this uh, folder icon and this will then take us into the folder where the init.c file is there it is now a really good practice is you, you always keep a backup so what you want to do is you want to download your init.c file somewhere safe rename it on your PC somewhere but what we're going to do as well is we're going to rename this file so we're going to click on rename and we're going to call it init.c backup uh, May 20 okay so that that's now backed up that we renamed it so we've always got that on our um, server ready we've got the backup on our, our laptop which you downloaded and we've got we renamed next thing what you need to do is now upload the fresh init.c file so what I need to do now is if you look in the description below this video you'll see a link to to init and init.c file that's in um, one of my Google drives so you click on that and download it to your local PC somewhere different to where the backup was and then all you need to do is when that's there click on upload file here and then the init.c file that you've just downloaded click on that click on open I'm not going to do it because I've already done well actually I'll uh, I will upload it because I renamed my other one didn't I that will take a second to just to upload and just go down just check it's there there it goes init.c and then all you do is you click on start server are you sure you want to do this click on start the server will reset in a in a few minutes and that's it <laughs> you know you'll be good to go anybody who now dies will then respawn as one of those four four characters now when you're weak when you, you know, maybe you want to keep this forever but when you want us to go back to normal all you need to do is stop the server again because it will say stop server and then you can just delete your init.c file and then go to your um, init.c backup and then whoop, which one is it it's that one is it and just rename that to just init.c in lowercase restart the server again and you'll have a regular um, you know you'll have a regular spawn where people just spawn in you know with a, with an apple and a rag and a is it, that's about it now isn't it and a, and a road flare to see what the see where they're going now that's dead easy so there you go that's how you do it um, nice and easy um, remember if you've got any other questions or comments like that put them down below now before we go though I'm going to show you in a little bit more detail about the file now if you may be interested in changing things in the file this is how you do it but if you're happy with those presets you know go with them but if you if you fancy getting your hands dirty if you actually download the the init.c file and uh, start taking a look at it I'd recommend you use something like notepad plus plus to to, uh, to look at the file and basically scroll down and um, again what was his name gravity wolf not amused who produced this file done has done a fantastic job of not only making the file but also putting documentation into it notes into the file so you know what you're going to be doing and if you just read through it's all very self-explanatory he says right okay so the assault class is going to have going to have these weapons in it um, and so 
if you if you're familiar a little bit with coding or uh, this isn't an XML file but if you've done some of the XML stuff with the rest of the day you, it, it will kind of make sense and this is where you can then change things you know so you could change things from an M4 to like a KA or an AK or something like that um, and it's all in there however if you're not confident obviously just leave it and, and just go with what it is the one that's very easy to change there if you come down is if you come down near the bottom here we go here we go here we go see it's really cool it does things like it puts batteries on the, the scope that need it come down here there's all the sidearm attachments where is it There's that bit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So it's fair. Here we go. Look for the bit that says general items which everyone will receive on spawn regardless of class. So as you can see here, you've got uh, the uniform. You they all get a smurf vest, tactical gloves, and combat boots back. But then they have their individual uniforms which are specified in the in the other part. But here we go. This is a uh, string or a utility. So here we are. These are the bits you can change to give all of them some different stuff. So for example, we've got tactical bacon can, canteen, can opener, bandage dressing, smoke grenade, apple, and soda can, Pipsy. So what you could do with that is actually, have they got the soda can? Oh, we've been kicked. Oh, so I restarted the server, didn't I? Um, yeah, they have got the soda can. There it is. So what you could do here is if this was a general spawn you're having for people who are spawning you know just on the coast you could add something like a compass remember if you're not sure what things are called go into your types.xml file just find that and download that and that will give you the names of things and then you could add those in now remember the um these guys have only got the smurse bag they've got like the utility backpack the very small backpack so you can't fit that much in the the the, uh, the backpacks because the idea is you want to keep them fast for a, a pvp sort of environment but you could add a couple more things if you wanted but i think really something like you know maybe the uh, the compass the orienteering compass could be could be pretty cool so there we go have fun um Obviously, we're just touching the tip of the iceberg here of the sort of things that we can do with init.c on PC. And you can see you know, when this comes to console, the fun we're going to have. Now, I'm going to do videos, as I say, where we use this same init.c file, but I'm going to bundle it together with um, different player spawn points files as well. So you can do what you see saw in, in the video at the beginning of this video, which is a, uh, a pair of them where not only do you spawn in as a military character but you all spawn in um, around the edges of the prison so that you can have a player versus player <coughs> excuse me a player versus player battle event cool anyway so if you found this useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very much and i will see you again soon <laughs>